Hi everyone, so this video is going to be how I remove my crochet faux locks without cornrows. Now, I've really been loving this style. I had it in a total of five weeks. When I first installed it, I did have a two rows of purple locks in the back, but I took out the purple and put in some black about a week after I had it. So it's been five weeks, and so the first thing you do when you start to take down any style is you take out any um, hair pieces that you have or jewelry. These little cuffs I got at a beauty supply store. Now I'm gonna take this long turban thing <laughs> that I got from uh, Ulta Beauty, and I'm going to use that to keep my hair out of the way. And I'm gonna start from the back, as I do with almost every hairstyle. I'm gonna start one lock at a time, and I, this is kind of fast right now. Don't worry, I will slow it down for you and uh, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. It's a bit of a struggle through most of it. You know, I've had this style for a while, but I really just try to loosen up the Marley hair that I've put at the roots, and then after I've taken that off, I have to use some scissors sometimes, I will slide the braid out of the hair. It's pretty easy to see, you know, it's been a while, so the hair didn't always, didn't stay in the lock entirely. But uh, if the loop doesn't come out on its own, then you know, you just cut right at the base of the knot and then pull it out that way. Just be very careful if you have hair that is very close in color to the faux locks. So I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. Here's, this one is, was a bit of a struggle for me. Not only is it at my hairline and I'm trying to be extra careful not to pull my hair unnecessarily, this one was so, so tangled, like I can't really figure it out. I loosened up the Marley hair with my fingers, just trying to find a good place to cut it. And then I slid what I could down the length of the lock. That's not really necessary, but I was able to do that. And then at the root, I just try to slowly unwrap the Marley hair. And as you can see at the base, there's so much buildup of products and dead skin cells and shed hair. Like, it's really hard to tell where everything is. So there's the, the knot and the braid. I slipped the length of the braid out of from inside the lock. And then I tried to take the loop and tried to slip it out just like I did the other one. Some of them came out really easily, some were more like this one where it was just struggle city. <laughs> so eventually I couldn't get the, the knot done, so I just cut right at the base of the knot. That would give me less hair to work with. And it was still a bit of a struggle. You know, I sped up the video here, but I was being very gentle, taking my time, just working the knot out. Um, if you have a magnifying mirror, that's really helpful. Uh, I was doing what I could, but uh, Eventually, I got it out. Last one, and man, this, this seems like a struggle. This was actually the easiest part of taking out this style. Uh, once again, I loosen up the Marley hair that's at the root, and I try to find a good place where I can cut and then I just take some scissors and cut the, the Marley hair. I'm not gonna try to unravel the whole thing. And then I unravel what I can at the root, slide the rest of it down. Then I'm gonna take the braid and slide it out from inside the giant co coil. And once I have that done, I'm gonna try and take the loop of that crochet faux lock, and sometimes I slid it out completely, other times I just put my fingers in the loop so I could get a better grip on it and cut it. And if it doesn't slide out, you just take a little bit of time, try to figure out what's caught in there, you know, with the hair shedding, it, it just might be caught on some shed hair. So it takes the scissors again and then just cut. So it, it you gotta take your time with it. This, it's not a quick process. Give yourself plenty of time to take out these crochet faux locks if you do them the way I did them, but got to be very gentle and you got to take your time. All right, now that whole process to take the locks out took about an hour and a half, I think. Yeah, about an hour and a half to take all of the locks out. Now we're on to the hardest part of the takedown. And that is unbraiding and detangling all the hair. 
So I started the back again and I ended each of my braids with a two strand twist so it'll be easier to unravel just like this. There's no knots, it unravels pretty quickly. And then I just use my fingernails and uh, just, unbraid, just unravel it this way. You can use a rat tail comb if you want to. I wasn't, I didn't use that because I'm just not very good at using a rat tail comb to undo braids. I just use my hands. And again, I've sped up the video so you're not sitting here forever watching me detangle my hair, but I, this is a very tedious process. Um, I didn't add anything to my hands. I didn't put any product in. My hair is not wet with my hair because I have very fine strands. If I were to get my hair wet at this point, it would turn into dreadlocks, like actual dreadlocks. And that's not what I'm looking for right now. So I just take my time and use my fingers to separate out all of the, the matted areas of hair. For the most part, it's still, the length of the hair is still pretty detangled. It's just right at the root where there's lots of buildup and where all the shed hair gathers. Like you can see all that lint and buildup and product and oh, it's kind of gross. But that's the reality of taking out these braids after five weeks. So I use my fingers to comb to detangle a little bit and then I take a wide tooth comb starting at the ends and then just comb through to get any of the other shed hairs that I might have missed with just my fingers. And this is how much hair I shed from one braid. Now just 51 more to go. Fast forward three hours later, actually yeah about three and a half hours later that my hair is fu fully detangled and the braids are out and it's big and fluffy and this is the freakiest part like that's how much hair I shed in five weeks like oh that's so gross like and this is probably the worst face I've ever made um quick impromptu little length check yay and then I proceeded with my wash day I did a wash and go and um now my hair is back and curly and uh, not damaged. If you guys end up uh, doing this style, I hope that this video is helpful for how to take out your crochet faux locks without cornrows. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below, like this video, and share with your friends. And until next time, bye!